pub serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theatre and art. And multiculturalism. And the world's oldest underground, the Tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up. And one night to tear it all down. What's our status? Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bentley? If you haven't brushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. We'll have to sort this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. Identifying information. Uh, ghosts in this system. That hurt you more than it hurt me. a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that?
got loads of dead set gear down here. And why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like DedSec was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Who are these men in black, anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those canisters. Badly is that? RDX nitrogen. Enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. Bagley, is that not the detonator? No, but it's a transmitter sending a signal to a device on the floor above us. Safe to assume that would be the detonator we're looking for. Dead-set propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are gonna blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. Track him down! Drone, begin search. Couldn't have gone far. Don't see anyone. I'll go over there. You are going down when we find you. Don't get ambushed. Area clear, moving on. Come out, give up. of Commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the centre of government.
I found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. We don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, I might know a workaround. We trained in manual overrides at MI5. You're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can, but I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize you, so fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on you. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. Stay alert! Bagley, update! Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti-tamper security is. Still working. Move into a secure position! Security, now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up... <sighs> Bombs defused. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Bagley, you bastard. You're gonna give me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Fucking hell, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the town conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it... I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. Her protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, ops, locations. 
Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. Okay, Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, if this goes... It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. with some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the great fire, the blitz. It's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Time for a hard reset. Oh my god. A month ago, a series of explosions devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected. Mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused. They attend Downing Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set. Terrorism responses failed. Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of DedSec. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. 
corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. As crime numbers take a dive, illegal gambling, drug trafficking and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates, the streets of Camden and Brixton. And Londoners, as Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs thanks to the Reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a new public about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group Deadset were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts didn't to any other story. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up DeadSec and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think if anything, DedSec showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find DedSec more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Sky Bloody Larson, and all the way up to Downing Street. They want to keep us scared, harness us with, with mind control, suck every last ounce of usefulness out of us, and, and even in death they'll sell off our bodies. And what do you suggest we do, Crypto King? Go underground. Deep enough, no electric signal can get you. It's the only way. Well, thank you to all of our callers today, and thank you for tuning in and scouting for the truth along with me. Next week, Buccaneer Radio will be diving into the Albion Corporation. Just who are these men and women being paid lucrative amounts for the city's defence? Are they protecting us? Protecting London? Or someone else's interests? See you next week, fellow pirates. Claire Waters, out.
situation is worse than I thought. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Fine. Someone's gonna cough for you, you know, if you act like that.
Auto Drive now enabled.
under my beach. Me? No, no, you've got the wrong person. I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. I'm not thrilled about getting my hands dirty, but I suppose one does what one must. for a penny. Ah, oh, a dank pitch black cellar. Just what I was hoping for. Are you all sitting comfortably? No? Good. That's as it should be. This is The Bug. I'm Andy, and joining me to analyse the latest blowflies to emerge from the corpse of a once free Britain, it's Alice. Hello, Andy. And today, we're going to talk to you about Albion, uh, your friends and mine. Alice, the government has extended Albion's contract and have also boasted that violent crime has plummeted to a record low. Now, extending Albion's contract, to me, that's like having a pet dog, let's call it Nigel for the sake of argument, that attacks you every single day and thinking to yourself, wouldn't it be nice if Nigel had puppies? <laughs> that contract has been extended so many times, it's like the neck of a politician that's criticised the government. <laughs> I'm not sure entirely how those... No dead 
Optic registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exits, hack your Optic and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. I'm with Sabine. Who the hell are you and why do you sound like a mobile phone? Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. Look at that. Coming up today on The Upload, we're talking about Sky Larson, the enigmatic founder of Broker Tech. Everyone knows her name, but no one knows too much about her. And we only really see her these days. Hello and welcome back to The Upload. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS 3... it i'm reconnected to the network downloading our database news archives and oh 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 no terrorist group deadsec responsible for deadly bombings in london dalton wolf dead i leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up so badly If not DedSec, then who was behind the bombings? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. My god. How'd you survive? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. There aren't many dead sec fans in London these days. Look, I want to help, I do, but joining up with you now verges on suicidal. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? Fine, but you owe me. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DedSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DedSec kit.
We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Start with some basic strikes. Hit me. Don't be shy. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. Just like that. Nice one. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Just like that. Couldn't have done that better myself. skill you need to master socialization the rest of your team has arrived why not go and have a chat welcome to the team brilliant finally found my people Good day. 
So we're dead sec now, just like that. Do we get like a training or anything? I'll sell for a pamphlet. Did you get a pamphlet? I think we just have to figure it out as we go. Now that you're all as thick as cyber thieves, Sabine would like to talk to you. Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that DedSec are fighting along with them. I agree. This city is being picked apart by scavengers and they must be stopped. I'm sure Albion's turning a tidy profit. Those cunts are treating London like a hostile takeover. Yeah, and there's Clan Kelly running all the crime and shit. And Albion won't lift a fucking finger. Fair, but remember that this zero-day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. First order of business. The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Earl Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the leading edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now. Albion personnel are here to serve the community. Obey them. from anyone you do not know. Criminals are waiting to prey on your kindness. 